Hello and welcome to Cardinal Studios. My name is Joe and I'm back with another video. Got a speed sketch today. So today I'm doing a speed sketch on the Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions video game. Now you may be wondering, why am I doing that? That's an old game, it's nothing new. What's the deal? Well, I just got it on the Steam sale. This is the first time that I've played it. I'm really liking it so far, so I thought I would pay some kind of little tribute to it. So I'm doing a sketch of the four Spider-Men who are Spider-Man 2099, Spider-Man Noir, Ultimate Spider-Man, and The Amazing Spider-Man. Now that's in no particular order. If I had to choose my favorites, it would be a tie between Ultimate Amazing and then probably Noir and 2099. So as for my progress in the game, I've beaten the first round of bosses for each Spider-Man. So I've gone through and I beat Kraven, I beat Hobgoblin, I beat Electro, and I beat Hammerhead. So I've been playing for a couple days now, and so far I'm really enjoying it. It's a really cool game. Um, it's a lot of fun to play, and I like that they have the old voice actors from different versions of the Spider-Man, you know, in different TV shows and things like that, so that's really cool. As for my favorites, uh, it's going to be a tie between Josh Keaton and Neil Patrick Harris, because I really enjoyed the series that they were in, uh, being Neil Patrick Harris was in the Spider-Man, the new animated series that was on MTV after the Tobey Maguire movie. Uh, and that was a really cool show, I really enjoyed that, the animation style, you know, that 3D, it was really cool. But I also really enjoyed Josh Keaton in The Spectacular Spider-Man because that show was freaking awesome. One of my favorite things about The Spectacular Spider-Man was by far its art style. Sean Galloway did a really good job designing those characters and I'm hoping that as I develop as an artist I'll be able to implement some of the things that he had in his style that I can put into my own because I really find his style to be very very aesthetically pleasing and I like the simplicity of it. So for this sketch I'm using two brushes. I'm using the my normal construction pencil brush for lines and stuff like that and then for the colors and the silhouetting and the shading I'm using a pencil shader brush. So you'll notice that before I color each figure I go through and I outline the area of the figure of each color. Now the reason I do this is because it keeps all of my colors within the lines and I can kind of go crazy and just scribble, lay down the colors and then when I add the shading I don't have to worry about going over the lines either. Now I could, there's a little button where I could lock the transparency and only color on what I've already drawn, but the issue with that is I tend to miss spots when I color and I'm still working on that, but I tend to miss some spots when I'm filling in color. So this helps to eliminate that because what will happen is if I lack transparency it wouldn't color some areas, but if I have the figure outlined I can still go over those areas that I missed the first time when I was coloring. So you may notice that the symbol on the Ultimate Spider-Man is a little bit different than the symbol that is actually in the game or from the traditional symbiote suit logo. And um, I did that because I like when you have a set of legs that goes over the shoulders but then also one that goes um, under his arms and then around the back. And I, I think that that's a little it divides up the legs because otherwise all the legs are going in one direction and so I like that you know some of them go up and some of them go down it keeps a little bit more true to the original suits logo so I also want to let you know that hopefully I'm gonna be uploading every Thursday is my plan I'm gonna do a new video every Thursday and I'm gonna to try to alternate my weeks where so it'll be like speed sketch one Thursday and the next Thursday will be a speed paint and then a speed sketch and then a speed paint and keep that going for a while. So like I said, I don't know how this schedule will work. I'm gonna do my best to keep to it and keep things coming. But if you know there's any um, delays or whatever, I'll be sure to let you guys know and keep you updated. But And that is going to do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please come back to see more of what I do. If you didn't like it, well, I'm sorry. If you want to see this image and more of my work, check me out on DeviantArt and Instagram. I'll have links in the description. Anyway, that's all for now, and I'll catch you later.